everybody. This is Caesar with Small Engine Velocity, and I am on the Honda Ruckus. Yay! It's been a while since I read this thing. It's been in the pieces, and uh, technically, it's the only vehicle I have that has registration and, and tags on it at the moment next to the KPR 200 which a friend is borrowing and the Zuma which I still have to pick up from my friend's house. It's both been suffering. It's been suffering in someone else's garage forever. But anyways yeah I finished power coating this bike and I love it. It looks super awesome. It's like my best friend. I mean it's exactly the same thing and it rides exactly the same. It's just a different color now. <laughs> Right, Burger Bell? Oh, Burger Bell, I miss you. Hashtag Burger Bell. Now, if you ever go to Instagram and you look up the search hashtag Burger Bell, there are lots of them. You actually see this exact Burger Bell, but it is uh, on a bunch of bicycles. I think there's some on some scooters and stuff like that. But it's people like I know, like Poked by Toast. I believe his is hashtag Burger Bill, labeled also. Um, and I think there's a third Burger Bill member. I don't remember. But anyways, yeah. So I'm riding the Ruckus, taking it to work. I'm going to probably take it to work for the rest of the week because it's my best gas saver. And I don't have anything else to ride, like I said. Now, there is a tiny leak in my radiator hose. I think when I was pulling the radiator hose off of the carb, I must have stretched the cable because it's, I think that's where it's leaking from. Because I can smell it, but I keep checking the tank and there's plenty of um, radiator fluid in it. I just can't seem to find the, where it's exactly leaking from. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna replace and bypass that entire heater hose that goes past, through the carburetor. <sighs> okay, so this weekend is a weird weekend. All right, guys? Um, by the time you watch this, I may or may not be... I don't know. Well, anyways, this weekend we're doing a huge project that we've been planning for months at work. Uh, we're migrating an entire data center from Houston to Dallas. And I don't know if you know how hard that is. <laughs> but it, we're moving it virtually and uh, just virtually. The physical move is later where we lift and ship entire racks of servers over. That will have a data interruption, but uh, virtually migrating boxes across a WAN all the way up to Dallas. Uh, we've already done our uh, snap mirror over to Dallas with our images. So all I have to do is just turn these on and turn these on and turn these off, reconfigure, migrate VLANs, and then it should be good. Anyways, whatever, you guys know what I'm talking about. Well, and if you do, awesome. So, I also, I think I fixed my mic problem. I had a mic problem where uh, it would crackle when I would get at high speeds. And I think it's because I had the battery, I had the, uh, I had the brick for the GoPro mounted to the, uh, what's it called, mounted to the helmet with tape so it would wiggle, and it would wiggle the connection to the GoPro. So I'm thinking the reason why I did that, what I was having a hard time is because, I'm making the crackling sound, is because it would wiggle. So hopefully this being immobile now is a good thing. 94. 100 at 45 and I'm not going any faster. I need someone to get in front of me. Oh wait, I'm at 95. Why is it every time I ride the ruckus, it's a freaking speed test? Oh there you go, car in front of me. That's enough. There we go. I feel her opening up. Yeah, I like it going the ride in the ruckus. It makes me feel 
like I'm doing a good job again. 48, 47. I mean, that's not bad, right? What I should really do is get a mint final gear and give it a shot, right? Drop my back weights back to the five fives when I was hitting 10,000 easily and then uh, do the mint gear and see what I can get out of a 30% difference in ratio, gear ratio. What do you think guys? Let me know in the comments below if you think that's something I should do. Because I think it is. <laughs> uh oh, come on, make your turn. Anyways, that's another thing I've been thinking about is mint gear. Everyone tells me I'm not ready, but yeah, well, you know, I'm not ready. But I want to try it. My viewers want to know what net gears are like. This is so enjoyable. I feel like, I guess, when I ride my ruckus and I'm on the road like this, I guess I feel like I'm like losing or a bobsled. A mile per hour counts, wind resistance counts, stuff like that. Anyways, now there's a school bus in front of me blinking red. Yay! Ooh! That's why you ride all the way to the right, guys. If someone comes through, they're gonna not punch it. People have a tendency whenever they see something that surprises them. When, like, have you ever had that scene that happen? Someone makes a turn, a left turn, and they cut somebody off, and then their first instinct is to slam on the brakes and stop in front of what was flying towards them? Yeah, that's what we don't want. That's what I don't want. Do you want it? I don't. Let's make it through this light! Oh, never mind. But we will be in the front, which really annoys me. I hate being in the front because I don't set the lights off. So, this, the 25th, I'm going to have a meetup. I don't know if it's going to be a meet and a ride, but I know I'm having a meetup. Uh, but I'm going to do the meet somewhere closer to downtown Houston. Um, so I can, I guess, call it the middle. So, if anyone has any suggestions as to a place that we can meet uh, in the morning or, or for a lunch... I guess, and eat and hang out. Like a place that's good to hang out, like not McDonald's. Yes, Whataburger, but I'm open to other places too. Or we could just meet at a coffee place or a Starbucks. Something with a parking lot that I can see my bike from, from the outside. Sounds ridiculous, right? Yes, it does. But yes, that's what we need to do. Oh look, it's a Nissan Leaf. What do you think it's better at gas mileage? Or what do you think has a less of a carbon footprint? The Nissan Leaf or a Honda Ruckus? Huh? Carbon footprint. Now think of the entire food chain of uh, of uh, electricity. Burning coal, burning natural gas, oil, nuclear fusion that use the charge that that Nissan Leaf or my one gallon per week Honda Ruckus. Well, I'm a chatterbox today. I guess it's because I'm tired. I didn't get very good sleep last night for some reason. Someone get in front of me for crying out loud. Look, I'm climbing. I'm still climbing guys, I'm still going 45, you're not going to stop me. Wait, why am I going 45 at 95? There we go. Okay, I have a feeling you're trying to get over to the right. Okay. Well, today's been a quite a long motor, the uh, long motor vlog. So yeah, 
Yeah, okay, the 25th, meeting up, place, somewhere closer to downtown, preferably, perhaps, in the Heights, something accessible by uh, Ruckus. Actually, all of Houston is accessible by Ruckus. If you just look at a map, you can do it. Now, when you go north, past 99, there's not that many routes you can take to get to the woodlands on a Ruckus everything there is pretty freaking fast and treacherous but I can go pretty much all the way to Galveston if I wanted to well Galveston's an iffy because you still have to cross the, the giant bridge and I, I don't know how fast I would be able to go over that giant bridge on my ruckus boys and girls. Caesar's gonna hold an end into his outro now so he can uh, go ahead and concentrate on his ride to work. I hope you boys and girls had a good time watching the motor vlog today so I want you to remember to don't forget to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe like I have to remind you. Okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and leave now and you're gonna see me in the next video everybody. Have a good day, and I will see you next time.